How many people are needed to survive an apocalypse? It's not hard to imagine the world as we know it coming to an abrupt end. From all-out nuclear war to a giant asteroid strike, there's plenty of ways humans could find themselves facing extinction. So, if we were to experience an apocalypse, how many people would it take to keep our species going? The short answer is, it depends. Different catastrophes would create different doomsday conditions for surviving human populations to endure. That said, the minimum number is likely tiny compared with the approximately 7.8 billion people that currently inhabit our planet. Populations in the low hundreds could probably survive for many centuries. In human history, many small populations of this size have survived for centuries, perhaps even millennia, according to Cameron Smith, a prehistorian at Portland State University. Smith's research into early human civilizations and space colonization gives him pretty good insight into our apocalypse survival hopes. When humans first began farming, there were many small villages worldwide with populations ranging from the low hundreds to about a thousand individuals. Smith imagines a similar scenario would play out after an apocalypse. Survivors would spread out from cities heavily reliant on food imports and electricity to form small populations likely medieval in character. In this scenario, a population of just a few hundred survivors would need a way of maintaining a breeding system to avoid closely related pairings and the harmful effects of inbreeding. But what if Earth became uninhabitable or was destroyed altogether? In that case, we may be forced to abandon our planet and head for the stars. According to a 2018 study, a starting crew of just 98 people would be enough for a 6,300 year long journey to Proxima Centauri b, a potentially habitable Earth-like exoplanet orbiting the nearest star to our Sun. The crew would not consist of a random sample of 98 humans, but rather 49 unrelated breeding pairs ready to pass on their genes. The population would also only remain genetically diverse and healthy over time under certain conditions. For example, the crew's breeding would need to be monitored and restricted. But there's always unforeseen mishaps that could happen in space, so a larger starting crew of 500 individuals would likely be a safer choice, according to a follow-up study. Apocalypse Survival Just another one of Life's Little Mysteries. Want more Life's Little Mysteries? Check out these videos, or read more at livescience.com.